DCL's next generation NXT Paper 11 Plus tablet just made a stealth debut this past week, marking the first NXT Paper 4.0 device to hit US shores. Last year, I loved the way NXT Paper looked, but it turned out the technology used color dithering all the time, as it utilized TCL's NXT Vision technology that's in its TVs. Thankfully, NXT Paper 4.0 allows you to turn all that stuff off, giving you a purer display that appears to have no dithering on the normal color mode from what I can tell. Just like last year's panel, this one has a diffused layer on top, similar to color e-ink tablets, that makes it extraordinarily difficult to see the subpixels through a microscope. While it's impossible to guarantee that this doesn't use dithering at all because of this diffusion layer, I feel confident saying the regular mode is the safest for sensitive users. Here's why. In normal color mode, when NXT vision features are disabled, I don't see any obvious pixel flickering on color gradients, on the home screen, or around text, which are some of the most common places dithering is found. I also don't see flickering on grays either, including a gray gradient as well as several different fully gray images I use for testing. I also use an 8-bit and 10-bit gradient to test the screen's bit depth, and it doesn't appear to try to make colors any deeper by using dithering. When using one of the other two color modes, which I'll talk about in a minute, there is clear dithering happening. Here's a look at the color paper mode. Take a look at the subpixels closely, and you can see some flickering happening around the edges of icons, text, and on some colors. In ink paper mode, I can see the same kind of effect, letting me know that TCL uses some sort of color dithering to achieve these different color palettes, while these flickers don't appear on regular color mode in my tests. To switch between modes quickly, you can use the NXT paper key up top. It's one of the coolest things about TCL's newest NXT paper devices, and you can even disable the key entirely if you don't want to use the other color modes. Regular mode is self-explanatory, that's just normal colors, while color paper mode drops the saturation significantly and simplifies on-screen elements to look more like color e-ink. Here it is next to the Big Me B1051C Pro, my favorite color e-ink tablet. Notice how it's not quite identical to how color e-ink looks, but it's got the same general look. Ink paper mode drops the panel to black and white and looks similar to standard e-ink. Since this is not a reflective LCD display, you can't see it very well in the light if you try to turn the backlight off, so this isn't a proper e-ink replacement in all situations. It also doesn't have the wide viewing angles of e-ink or our LCD, so viewing it straight on is best. Like the 2024 NXT paper devices, this one uses DC dimming all the way down to 1% brightness. Peak brightness sits around 500 nits, with 50% brightness pulling that down to a very comfortable 250 nits. Modulation is essentially nothing, with low single digits that are probably more signal noise than actual modulation. I like the overall hardware design here and think it's a nice improvement over 2024's tablets. Now I'm really excited to see what the TCL 60 series of phones brings with its NXT Paper 4 displays. Final verdict? This is the single most comfortable tablet display I've seen so far in 2025, particularly if using color mode. I'm very happy that TCL allows users to disable a lot of the display fluff and get a purer experience without all the dithering junk and those options are always available to enable for users that aren't bothered by dithering and want the best overall image quality.